come back. And I've got my coffee and I'm just going to keep painting her. Um, I want to bring some white in there but I might just keep going over it with the antique white a little bit more. Let's try and tone this down a bit. So I want you to be able to see that there's shadow there but I don't want it to be so stark. <clears throat> um, hoping I'm staying on camera. I checked the um, footage of what I've already done and that seemed to be okay although I've noticed the lighting's not all that great. It's because it's gone very very cloudy now. Which is a shame. It started off really beautiful this morning. It's really nice and sunny. Um, what else I can tell you is today um, there's a special race, horse race meeting on. Um, it's part of the spring racing carnival that they have here. And today is the Caulfield Cup, which there's a race course called um, Caulfield Race Course, and they have a cup for the winner of the race. And my hubby's really big into watching the horse races, and um, gets really excited, you know, and they have big race days like this because he'll watch them races on TV and have a little bet. He doesn't bet very much, it's just a, a little flutter as they say, just for fun. <coughs> um, in the past when the kids were younger we've um, had on special race days we've sort of got the, um, the form guide out of the newspaper that says all the horses that are in each race and we've chosen each chosen um, a winner, or what we think might be the winner of um, each race, and there's generally I think about nine races in the day, sometimes more, and it's just for fun. We never bet money or anything, uh, just to see who got. Like my husband would allocate points for who. Um, you either pick a first, second or third place and he'd give points for for that and it's just a bit of fun to see who got the most points by the end of the day but of course now the kids are grown up and gone it was just me and my hubby doing it for a while and our son sometimes gets involved but now I've kind of gone off it too, I'm not that interested anymore so it's just my hubby <laughs> on his own but this morning he showed me the form guide and he said um, just have a look through and see if there's any horses that you like. You don't have to do every race, just look at the whole thing and see if there's any horses that stand out. So I did that just to have a bit of fun with him. And... Um, <clears throat> The actual big race had only just finished when I went out before to get coffee and um, he said I'll oh, have a look at the form and you'll see who won. I had a look and it was me. I actually picked the winner. <laughs> it was just funny because I wasn't all that interested in it. <laughs> but um, I picked two horses that I liked their names because I always pick horses by their name. Um, for the whole day and both of them um, got a place the big race I won and previous smaller race um, I got second so I thought it was kind of ironic because I wasn't interested and I ended up doing alright <laughs> my hubby said he didn't do any good but he never usually does on a big race day a bit harder to pick <clears throat> but 
but he likes it. He'll sometimes go to the race meetings, but not very often. It's been quite a while since he's been to a horse race. Oops. All right. I might go in there with a smaller brush. Smaller brush, where are you? A lot of beautiful birds around at the moment, which I really love. They've all come back for spring, and um, they've gone quiet at the moment because the weather's been a bit horrible with the wind. But this morning, it was just beautiful, heaps of birds singing. And um, yesterday, I was out in the garden um, pulling up weeds. And um, there are these birds called wattle birds. I think I've mentioned them once before. They make a really funny sound. One of them flew down from a tree and landed on a, um, a little stake that I've got there holding a plant up. And it wasn't even two feet away from me. And it just sat there looking at me for ages. So I kept really still. So I didn't want to scare it off. And I just watched it back. We were both staring at each other. <laughs> that was funny. I had a really nice time yesterday because I saw some beautiful butterflies flying around. And I actually watched one. It landed on the ground and I wondered what it was doing because you don't often see butterflies on the ground. <clears throat> and um, I watched it and it was actually laying eggs on some weeds on the ground. So I thought, oh, I better be careful now and not pull those particular weeds up because I want the butterfly eggs to hatch because they're very, very pretty butterflies. Um, most common that we get around here are the, um, they're a orangey brown, white and black with um, very pretty markings. I don't know what type of butterfly they are. I we really don't know much about. I think the only butterfly type I know is a monarch butterfly, but I don't think we get those here. But yeah, it was lovely being out there and sort of noticing nature. And something else I really enjoy at this time of the year is the blackbirds um, because they nest and raise their young in our yard, but the uh, male blackbird every evening at dusk <clears throat> he'll sit on the back fence near our back door and um, sing such a beautiful song every evening it's like he's singing all the other birds I think that cut off then I was just saying it's like he's singing the other birds to sleep that's very cute She's kind of looking a bit yellow and I noticed, I can't see it here, but when I looked through um, what I've filmed so far, it looks like she's got green bits on her. <laughs> so I don't know why that is, but um, sort of on the camera it looks like that, but not in person. It doesn't look like she's got green on her at all. Alright, so I might, wish I hadn't done that so dark, I might try a little bit of paler, paler, paler pink. <clears throat> um, what's on my list of things to tell you? 
not too many more things actually. Not a lot really happens around here. Just had visitors, like I've said, just catching up with friends. One of my friends recently, we hadn't seen each other in six years. So that was really good, <laughs> catching up with her. Um, and there are other friends that I see reasonably regularly, probably every two or three months. It's really good to see them. Um, oh, I was going to tell you is I've had mail problems here lately, as in expecting things in the mail and them not turning up. And I showed you a little while ago that I made some embellishments and I was doing a swap with another lady here in Australia and um, that all went okay and it turned out we both posted ours to each other on the same day and well, the time went by and it kept more and more time went by and nothing happened and um, I eventually contacted her and asked her had she received anything yet and she said she'd only just got it that day and that had been four weeks. Well that's a couple of weeks ago now and I still haven't received what she sent to me. So um, I keep thinking oh gee I hope it turns up but um, I know that other people have complained here in Australia in particular and saying that the mail is just service is just ridiculous. It sometimes takes far too long to um, get the mail. And now it's too pink. Oh, I'm so fussy. <laughs> That's the thing though, I've noticed other people, if I watch them painting and sometimes they will go over and over and over it, maybe 20, 30 times. <laughs> yeah, now it's a bit bright. going. Just water that down a bit. Water that too much. I was thinking with this, um, I want to do part acrylic paint and part um, the soft pastels because they have a good range of colours that I want to use. My paints aren't that great. I've just wrecked that. Try and smooth that out a bit. <sighs> Made a big ball patch there. <laughs> I'll go and fix it later. Yeah, so still waiting for mail to arrive. That's happened to me a few times though in um, respect of waiting for a really long time. But it has eventually shown up, so I'll just keep hoping for the best. But apparently, you know, mail goes missing all over the place all the time and it just makes me wonder how does that actually happen? How do they actually lose something? <laughs> it's crazy. Unless people are stealing stuff, opening packages and not, you know, delivering them. 
which wouldn't surprise me if that would happen once in a while. Not everybody is honest, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks a bit better so that it's not quite as dark. I want that pale there so it looks like a bit of light on her belly. have a drink of coffee. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Always happening. Well, let's try a little bit of white. Only little bits. Yes, I've got those pencil marks there, which are a bit of a problem. I should have erased them a bit. wind it's really strong. Strong and blustery. Alright, I'm probably going to just keep going over and over so I might just speed this part up and then I'll come back when I start on something else. Otherwise, we'll be here forever.
just looking at it under the light. See if I could see anything different, but it doesn't look much better holding it up as to looking at it on flat on the desk. It's really wet here. I think I've put too much water here before and I've got this wet blobby patch. It's hard to, um, it's even warped the shape of the paper. I think maybe I've gone over it a bit too much. Maybe I should let it dry. Um, just have a drink. <coughs> it's dry now. Might. Dry her off. I'll try and dry that wet patch up. I think. Get out my. What's it called? Um. Heat gun. Oh. I'm trying getting the power board to plug it into. want to work. Right, I haven't used this in ages. It's hot. I think that's going to remain a bit warped now. Um, Alright, so I might do her face and yeah and then I'll move on to the other parts of her and then I'll come back and finish her face at the very end. I think that's the plan. Need a bit more paper towel.
<clears throat> so the only other thing I have on my list to tell you oh two things I'll tell you this one first this, uh, I've been um, watching Little House on the Prairie lately <laughs> a friend of mine and I were talking about it recently and saying how we both used to love watching that when we were kids and um, he actually has the show on DVD so he lent it to me so I could watch it so I've been watching that like crazy and just really enjoying it and there's so much that I'd forgotten of it. <coughs> I'd obviously um, missed a few episodes there, I think, because some of them, a lot of them were familiar to me. I remember seeing them before, but, and even recently, more recently than childhood, I think they played them on TV during the 80s as well. But, um,. Yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. It's, it's funny and a little bit sad, particularly early on in the series. Got me a little bit teary quite a few times. But, um, such a good show and really good acting. Particularly admire the, the woman who um, played, what was her name? Harriet, Harriet Olsen. <laughs> it's a hysterical character. <laughs> uh, some of the things that she does and carries on. I mean, that she's sort of, you know, the character everyone loves to hate. Um, in respect that she can be really mean and selfish and all of that. But that's just a good um, contrast to the goodness of the Ingalls family <laughs> and other people in the town. Yeah, it's a good show. And those kids really grew up on that show, didn't they? Let's see, I'm up to season eight. I think there are ten seasons altogether. Season eight, now the kids are well into their teenage years, the older ones anyway. Yeah. I really like, um, I notice more now of course as an adult how, um, how the whole show was really based on really good family values and good morals and of course, as a child, you don't sort of take a lot of that in. Or at least I don't remember that I was aware of that sort of side of it as much. But obviously it would have taught a lot of us kids while we were watching it about, you know, the good and bad things of choices and things that we do and, you know, learning lessons about being kind to others and... Yeah, it's really good. So I'm really enjoying it. Some of the episodes are a bit silly. <laughs> but I suppose they had to try and balance that out with some of the more serious, sadder subjects. too much white now. Maybe if I mix this with white it won't be so harsh. I said I wasn't going to play with this and now I'm keeping on playing with it. I won't stop. Come back to it later. Try that. I want her eyes to be. Mm. 
Alright, so now I will start on the soft pastels. <clears throat> Oop, get them out. And I want to do her eyes. It was the palest, palest green. Hmm, got the wrong size pen. So much water coming out at once. It's a bit frustrating. I've got a big blob of water. Need the birds. Scared that's going to run. Try and soak some of it up. So it doesn't run up down the page. <clears throat> Don't know why so much water came out then at once. I'm not squeezing it at all. <laughs> 